In the wake of the announcement of a government plan to bolster the nation's medical system, which includes an increase in the enrollment quota at medical schools, related talks get off to a start at the National Assembly. The ruling party is forming a special task force and so does the main opposition party while criticizing the government. Or Yi Shi Hu reports on the latest. South Korea's rival lawmakers are taking swift steps to improve the country's medical system, supporting the government's main push for a raise in the medical school enrollment quota. The ruling People Power Party announced on Friday that it's launching a task force to support the plan. The team will include its chief policymaker and members of related committees, as well as medical professionals and ordinary citizens. They will work to reach a consensus on the specifics as well as work on new projects that will, quote, synergize with it. The plan shows the government's strong will to not only increase the number of doctors, but also to offer an equal quality of medical services in all regions of the country. The PPP says it will negotiate with the opposition after the specifics are outlined through talks with the administration. While the main opposition Democratic Party does agree with the need for more doctors, it is specifically calling for a concrete scale and enrollment increase and is urging the administration not to use people's health for political gain. This is why the government and the ruling party are criticized for approaching this issue only to turn the tide, using public health as collateral, without a consistent philosophy on public health and health care policies. The party is forming a separate task force to push for its own agendas, such as the establishment of a public medical school and measures to bolster the regional medical infrastructure through stronger medical education at national universities. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Han duk -soo said at a meeting of ministers on Friday that increasing the number of doctors will not completely solve the shortage of those in local and essential practices. Rather, Mr. Han said that pan-governmental responses and cooperation between ministries are needed for a successful implementation. Yi Si-hoo, Arirang News.